For the past decade, shark tours in Haliva Boat Harbor have created conflict within the North Shore community. People in the community have very strong opinions about this persistent problem. We interviewed a concerned fisherman about this issue. He asked to remain anonymous to avoid negative reactions from other community members. I'm a long time fisherman here. My grandfather, my father, my uncles, my brothers, we all fish out of Wailua Harbor, Haliba Harbor. For generations, crabbers have been harvesting crabs offshore from Haliva Boat Harbor. Friends of mine started crabbing white trap back in the early 80s. Uh, that brought the sharks, they kind of trained the sharks, the fishermen did. They put bait in the traps for two days and pull the traps back up. Once they get up to the top, you take the old bait out, throw it in the water, so the sharks would follow the crab boats around. The attraction of the sharks to the crabber's bait is what spawned the shark tour industry. It is the shark tour industry in Haliva Boat Harbor that is the catalyst for the conflict of the community. When you talk about this shark tour, you will get plenty mixed feelings because plenty guys they like, plenty guys not like. The organization called Safe Waters for Hawaii organized community members to protest the use of chumming in the shark tour industry at Haliva Boat Harbor in 2010. It was like pretty silly. You know, they're saying they're, we're bringing sharks into shore and everything. That is so BS. It's just not true, and it's proven by science. Despite the fact that shark tours no longer chum the waters, conflict and harsh feelings in the community still exist. These harsh feelings have simmered and boiled up to the point where citizens have crossed over the line of lawfulness. Within the span of a three-month period, three of the North Shore Shark Adventures tour boats moored in Haliva Boat Harbor have been set afire by arsonists. These fires have resulted in over $450,000 in damage to the shark tour operator's boats. But as far as reaction, it's pretty scary, you know? It's domestic terrorism as it, at its best. The, the federal law and the state law say that no feeding of sharks in federal state waters unless you're doing research, which we are doing. Stop feeding the sharks just to show people we could do it without it. But we sure be glad when this is all over because we want to start feeding the sharks again because it makes it really, really a much enjoyable tour. Although the shark tour industry has discontinued the practice of chumming in shark tours since 2010, there is still a lingering fear of shark attacks for some of those who enjoy North Shore ocean activities. Reporting for Hikino from Wailua High and Intermediate School, I am Eliza Malunao and I'm Sierra Foster.